anonymous watch guy here with a kind of an intro to the channel and a quick unboxing video. I've decided to take the plunge. Uh, I've been a pretty avid watch collector for a few years now. I got back into the hobby, you know, after a bit of a hiatus from it. Uh, and I've just kind of probably went a little crazy and overboard with it. I've got around 60 watches now, uh, but it's something I really enjoy. And, uh, you know, a couple months ago, I decided to start an Instagram where I, you know, took pictures of watches in my collection uh, to kind of share with everyone else. Uh, and it's kind of taken off a little bit. And it's something I've really enjoyed, you know, interacting with other people that are uh, into watch collecting. And uh, so I decided, you know what, I'll, I'm going to make some videos too. So these are going to be very amateur videos. Uh, of unboxing and uh, watches that I own, uh, some kind of review videos as well, watches I own, and maybe watches I can get my hands on. But uh, there's not going to be any fancy um, intros, music, video editing, anything like that. It's going to be very amateur. It's going to be shot on my iPhone. Uh, and you know, that's pretty much gonna be it. Uh, so, but hopefully it's some, you know, you'll find the videos interesting. Uh, you know, if you're thinking about purchasing a watch or if you're like me and you're just kind of a watch nerd and you enjoy watching watch videos on YouTube until late into the night, um, you know, maybe you'll enjoy uh, the channel as well. So I'll probably post most of my videos on Instagram as well, but I am going to start uh, doing some, some posts on YouTube. Um, it'll be under anonymous watch guy, just like my Instagram is. And you know, one other thing, since I'm anonymous, you won't be seeing my face. Um, so, uh, you know, no face, just watches. So without further ado, this watch has just arrived and we're gonna do a quick unboxing and check this bad boy out. So this Amazon package here and we have a plain white box. This watch is on the affordable end. And as you can see, it is an Armatron. Now I don't own any Armatrons currently in the collection. Um, this is the first. Uh, I've seen recently some of their, uh, what they call their retro collection. And uh, I think both this particular model and the grand model are pretty interesting. Uh, they've got kind of a cool vintage ret retro feel to them. So I decided to uh, check one out. I kind of like the packaging. Uh, it's kind of like the Casio uh, vintage series. Um, this cool kind of retro style tin uh, Armatron established in 1975. So it is uh, older than me. That's a good thing. Uh, but you can see on here that, you know, this is an affordable watch. You know, it's a Chinese movement. It's a Chinese band. Um, you can pick this particular model up on the Armatron website for around $60, but you know, frequently, uh, and you can find it on Amazon and other places, you know, typically in the 30 to $35 range. So it's a very affordable watch. So let's pop this case open here and see what we've got inside. All right, check that out. That is a cool looking watch. So this is the Griffey is the name of this particular model. And let's see if we can't get this out of the packaging there. Get a good look at that. It does have one of these kind of not the greatest bracelets with one of these style slide adjust clasps. Um, again, it is a very affordable watch, so uh, you're not going to get anything that's going to be fantastic, but it's, uh, 
we're gonna drop it. It's not not terrible for the price point. Uh, let's pull our little sticker off here. You can see there's some pretty nice brushing on the case. Yeah, it's a little bit of pushers on the side there. This is a mineral crystal, obviously. Got some uh, nice branding on the back. This does have 165 feet of water resistance, which is not bad for such an affordable watch. But uh, really the finishing on the case itself is, is also pretty good. Um, you know, the band's nothing fancy, but you know, that's, there's some, I like the finishing on the, uh, the watch itself. Push, push your button here to get your time. It's got the date and seconds. It is not 327, but it is the 15th, so that's kind of cool. I'm sure this bottom button is how you go through and set. I'll have to go through and check that out, but I kind of like the look of the LED display on this. That is a mineral crystal. If I didn't mention that already, obviously it's not going to be sapphire on this price of a watch, um, but yeah, it's got a nice look. I really like the uh, retro vibe. So uh, that's it for the unboxing. I'll you know spend some time with the watch and uh, get a full review up.